Yo! What's going on, Scheme fam? We are so excited to announce that Scheme Team and Blood Wolf Esports were the LAN champs in Helix in the Helix Tournament? The Helix Tournament in New Jersey that took place over last weekend. Our roster performed amazing and we could not have asked for a better performance out of them. We hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you later. Hey guys, me and Evan here. Aww. Let me get that zoom out. Evan's already cashed on the bed. That's my spot. Let's go check out the rest of the B&B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the you can't record Cheeto with somebody else in the lens. He takes up all of it. <laughs> so as we just saw here, everyone is partnered up, ready to go to bed. There's only one more guy waiting. That's there's another bed set up. They have a TV, so they're pretty lucky. So it's very early in the morning, and we are ready to hit the bed. Helix Esports, Victor, I told you. It's land day. We're a little bit late, but everything looking good so far. Just waiting for the brackets, and hopefully they'll get to warm up soon. Alright everybody, welcome into Helix Esports here in New Jersey. We're going to be tuning into the winner's finals. It's going to be J4L. Uh, versus Scheme X Wolf Blood. Only eight more seconds for Scheme to win this match. However, they're already rotated. The, the, this is going to be a big 1v1 gunfight, and it's going to be won by console number two. Waiting five seconds left. Can anybody get in? That's a grab slam out of console three. J4L breaks in with three seconds left. Console 13 is working on cutting down those players from plat, throwing a trophy. Trying to get behind for those spawns. Zero, getting cut down. Only down by 40 points here, heading into the last 19 seconds of this hard point. However, we're going to see engagement start to go down. Scheme working on breaking in. Three fall. Console 12 goes big. Big one-on-one -on -one gunfight. And three wins the gunfight. And that's going to put map number one away. A score of 250 to 201 for Scheme X Wolf. He's going to get a two-piece here to start, and he's going to get cut down. However, number 12 gets the trade. Here is able to get player number eight as well. Going to be another 2v3 snare as he gets a nice snipe over that hedge. We're going to see both of those players start rotating through back. However, there's going to be a push, and he's going to get cut down in the back. However, console 13 gets a huge two-piece. 4v2 scenario here. A very big... And now a team kill comes out, and that's going to be the end of this S&D with J4L taking a one-to-one. -one. Working on slide, we have two players slide in. Number eight falls, number 11 falls. Council player nine, working on getting kills as him and Dr. Knight fall. And looks like this is going to be the end of this round of control as the entire scheme squad is able to hold strong and quickly end that round two of where we, we see a war machine out of Dr. Knight working to unload it on that point. We're gonna see a three piece out of that grab slam from player number three. One player looking to fall. It's a 1v5 scenario for number nine as we see him fall. Ending map number three. Church, church. Let's go, let's go, let's go! So Cheetah, how does it feel to be in the finals? Uh, it was a hard fought victory. Map one, we're warming up. I had to fucking put Jansport in the Jansport. I went 53-19. Stoke was getting cooked. Uh, map two, they were listening to us in the SD, so they knew what we were doing. And we lost 6-4. Hypno went 3-9. <laughs> Next map, we 3-0'd them on the control in like five minutes. Uh, we're in grand finals, we're chilling. I got my my snack, and now we're just chilling, waiting for a fucking to play Oob again. Yeah, so basically we're out here, we just got that interview done. Um, obviously, you guys knew, but like, I mean, we already expected to come here and win it, you know what I'm saying? Because like, this man right here is literally the GOAT of BO4, MVP, everybody in this vlog needs to know that. She will be announced the GOAT of all of BO4. Literally best player ever. I'm blushing. Getting our grand finals loaded in here. It's going to be a rematch of our winners' finals. J4L coming from the losers' bracket. 
and Scheme X Wolf coming from the winner's bracket. We are gonna start off spectating this Scheme X Wolf team who were absolutely dominant in their winner's finals match against J4L. So it is going to be a 25 to about 10 uh, score heading into this next hard point. Burning himself full streaks, but he will get cut down in J4L. Will currently hold this hard point. J4L still maintaining this hold. As Scheme is looking to break into this hard point, however, they are getting cut down. And we will start to see the rotation take place. Scheme working their way back towards this spawn to be able to control this Lambo Hill. This is a big money hill and Scheme capitalized on it last time and they're looking to do it once again. They are set up very nicely for spawns. However, we do have two players from J4L up in front and now it looks like they're spawning out because of that player number five pinching from the back. Number 14 holding this water, looking to jump up, but he will get cut down. However, 17 is there for, his, is, is there for the trade. Still playing this water. Now we're gonna start to see players push out for this rotation. However, J4L really wants to scrap time to help build on their lead. That is a big kill by player zero who is then traded out coming to help he does find one he almost finds a second but he ends up getting cut down in j4l maintain control they can win here we do see a war machine come out but he is cut down immediately big three kills coming out of scheme as they break into this hard point working on fighting back as they are going to pop that crash they don't have control of spawns but that's okay fighting their way through black jacket on these j4l players as well j4l not panicking working on breaking this hill together, joining together as a team. But Scheme just might be able to hold them off with these streaks. Only five seconds. Scheme with the comeback. J4L barely gets it with one second left and they clutch up. No, they cannot with a big two piece out of console player number two. Coming back from a huge deficit. Map four coming up here. Arsenal hardpoint. Scheme X Wolfblood leading 2-1 over J4L. J4L needs to come back and win these next two maps and another best of five in order to take this grand final. While Scheme just needs one more map and they have been nothing but dominant in respawn against J4L. And that's console player number two getting those last two kills here to give Scheme control. However, they are looking like they're spawning out. Scheme already in the back lo looking to lock down those spawns. However, they are still spawning out. We're now going to start to see J4L rotate out as well. Working on pushing up. However, we do still have one player here. He is going to fall. Last player in the hill does get cut down by J4L. Holding that scrap time, giving themselves a 40 second lead here heading into this fourth hard point as we do see some streaks starting to come in. And now here comes the Hellstorm. Looking to rein in. He's going to find one. Hanging it over and finds a second here. However, Scheme's still working on breaking in as they all end up getting cut down by J4L, who is holding strong right now, is Scheme. Scheme's still holding the hard point here. Only down by 30. As we start to see J4L work on a push from the front, we are starting to see specialists come through as well. With the snap from the Tempest, however, he is going to fall from window, giving J4L slight control. However, that's going to be player number two working on holding this hard point himself while the rest of his team spawns up. He gets away with his life after finding one. Finds a second before he falls by that grenade. J4L in the, in the hill early as it's neck and neck. Scheme does have control of spawns, but J4L is flying through the front. We're going to see three fall, four fall from J4L. Scheme still holding strong, looking to battle back. Down by 40. We're having a double positive performance out of player number six with his second Tempest of the game. Looking to snap on, and he does. Just looking to hold. 25 seconds, and he shuts down the grab slam from player number one. With only 20 seconds left, J4L need to fly in. J4L need to push now. But they don't have the specialists. They don't have the help. They're flooding. Only 10 more seconds needed from Scheme to clutch up. The streaks come flying in. Can J4L do anything and get in in five seconds? It doesn't look like it. And Scheme X Wolfblood are your Helix champions.
Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, that was a close and intense game. Much better than the first series we've had with them, but we still came out on top. They complained about the monitors, but they didn't change a thing. We still came up top. What's going on, Scheme fam? First morning back from the land, and I'd like to just share some raw feelings I'm going through right now. First, we got the dub. We got the win under the belt. So I would like to say a special thank you to you guys, the Scheme fam, the community we are building here. And we would like to thank you guys for supporting us and always watching the content, always tweeting our tweets, and uh, just supporting what we are building here, guys. And my second special thank you will be to Jared. He joined our team at the beginning of Scheme Team and made any content possible for us. My third thank you would be to our co-owner, Victor, for joining the team and making the financial investments and running the team with me possible. So a special thank you to the Scheme fam, and this is our just our first one. We're just gonna keep going and getting them. Thank you guys, peace. I remember pulling out the Honda. Got myself pulling out the Honda. I'm just trying to buy a house for my mama. Stacking calm and switching up the genre. Now I got a stack before I eat. Get the bag before I sleep. Now I got to grind.